Ever since I picked up this Colt Cobra not too long ago, I've received so many questions about this gun. In fact, I think I have received more questions about this gun in particular than any other gun that I have bought. And I think the reason for that is after this gun came out, a lot of people saw it, you know, they went and picked it up, held it, or shot it at SHOT Show, and a lot of people kept saying one thing. Oh, this just isn't a real Colt. This doesn't feel like a Colt. Doesn't have a trigger action like a Colt. Doesn't isn't built like a Colt. You know, it's just not a Colt. And to those people, I want to say, well, you know, I don't know what you're talking about. Because to me, it feels very much like a Colt. And that's the question I keep getting asked by a lot of people. Is this gun really worthy of the name Colt? And I want to say, yes, it is. Now, I know a lot of people said differently when this gun first came out. And a lot of people still say differently. But the way I figured is those people are one of two things. They are either a hardcore Colt fan or collector who wants to protect the value of the old guns, or someone who just doesn't think anything new is as good as anything old, or they just don't know anything about Colts. Now, before anyone asks me, well, do you know anything about Colts? Well, yeah, I actually do know a little bit about Colts. I'm a big fan of Colts. I own Colts. I own an Anaconda here. And I own a Colt Python here. This is a really nice gun. I mean, everyone loves the Colt Python. I also have an old double action only Colt Detective Special. Now this did come from the factory like this with this bobbed hammer. This is a factory double action only gun. You can't cock the hammer, you can just pull the trigger. Even if you tried to hold the hammer back, it doesn't stay back. And since that Detective Special is double action only, the gun that I have that is actually the most like the Colt Cobra is probably my Magnum Carry. My Magnum Carry here is a six shot, small framed revolver that's double action, single action. So if I had to compare the new Colt Cobra to an older Colt they already own, this would be the one that is the most similar. The biggest difference between the Colt Cobra and the Magnum Carry you just saw would be the caliber. The Magnum Carry is, of course, a 357 Magnum, whereas the Colt is more like the old Detective Specials. It is a 38 Special. It is six shots also, but it's 38 Special. Even though they're different calibers, still structurally, they're very similar guns. As you can see here, these guns are very similar. In fact, they're almost identical, except for a couple small features here, and I'll go over what those differences are. Now the differences in finishes here is just because I've actually polished one and haven't polished the other. But actual physical differences here is one is the trigger guard. The trigger guard is more of a smaller standard trigger guard on the older Colt. On the newer Colt, it has a larger trigger guard. Gives you a little more room there, especially if you're wearing a glove or something. So this is just an improvement to keep up with the times. People want larger trigger guards now. So that's one difference. Now another difference here, probably the biggest difference between the new guns and the old guns is the old gun had more of a straight barrel with an integrated sight here. This sight can't be removed. It's just a piece of the barrel and the barrel is just a simple straight barrel. On the new gun, the barrel has this little collar thing right here, which I wasn't sure I liked at first, and it has a replaceable sight. That I knew I liked at first, because the replaceable sight is just an update. Smith & Wesson did the same thing. A lot of their old guns had fixed sights, and their newer guns had replaceable sights, so I was glad to see Colt do that. And as far as this little collar right here, this little bulge, I actually like it now. This was to make the gun easier to holster and to reduce weight a little bit, because the barrel doesn't need to be that thick to be strong, so they've tapered it it down a little bit from where it hits right here against the body, tapered it down a bit, supposedly makes it easier to holster, and reduces a little bit of the size and weight of the barrel. I think that's actually a good change. So as you can see, the new Colt Cobra is every bit a Colt as far as the way it's built. It's pretty much the same gun, same materials, same build quality, same solid construction. The only difference is there's been a few modern updates, but otherwise it's definitely a Colt. Now, I know what a lot of detractors are going to say next. They're going to say, well, it might be built like an old Colt, but it definitely doesn't have a trigger like an old Colt. And to those people, I'm going to say, once again, you don't know what you're talking about. This gun definitely has a trigger every bit as good as an old Colt, maybe even a little better. The double action on this gun is very smooth and light. It's just a very good trigger. And the single action, very light. Just a really nice trigger on this gun. Same thing with the older Colt Magnum carry here. The single action and double action triggers are nice. The double action trigger has a nice consistent pull with that slight buildup and then that very solid break. And it has a very nice consistent single action pull. Very light, very crisp. The trigger pulls on these guns are almost identical. If anything, the newer gun has a slightly better trigger. In fact, if you look at the triggers on both these guns side by side, they feel very similar. The new Colt might just be a tiny bit smoother, but it's definitely lighter. This one averages at about seven pounds 
per double action pull. It's just under seven pounds for the average. It's sometimes a little under, sometimes a little over, but it's right around seven pounds. Now when you look at the Colt Magnum Carry, which is an older gun, the trigger has a very similar mechanical feel to it, but it comes in at eight pounds, three ounces. It is over a pound heavier. If you take into account how much each one of them has been shot, it's pretty easy to say that there's at least a pound of difference between these two triggers. So where do people get off saying this gun doesn't deserve to be called a Colt, when I think it's every bit as good as the old Colt? Well, like I said, a lot of people saying that are just saying it because it seems to be a popular opinion, and they really don't know anything about Colts. And then there are your hardcore Colt fans, like I said before, that are just poisoned against anything new, don't know what their reasons would be, but if it's new, they don't like it. But anyone that actually knows about Colts, knows how they're built, and is familiar with their triggers, knows this gun is great. One thing I think a lot of people are doing is they're comparing this trigger to the Colt uh, Python trigger. Now the Colt Python trigger is of course better. It is a more finely tuned instrument, but the detective specials were made to be used. So they're not as good as the Colt triggers when it comes to being precise and light, but they're made more for use. They're made to be less delicate. So this trigger is less delicate than a Colt Python trigger and therefore not as light and not as precise, but for what it's made for, which is to be used every day, it's actually better than the Python trigger in my opinion. Whereas the Python trigger is one of the best revolver triggers at the range, it is, like I said, a little delicate, so I wouldn't want to trust it as my everyday carry. This gun is really well built, just like the old Colts. It's very solid. It's very well done as far as the trigger is concerned. It has one of the better double action triggers you can get on a revolver on the market today, just like the old Colts did. It's just not quite a Python, but for what you would buy this gun for, it's actually, in my opinion, better than a Python. It's easily as good as the old guns, maybe even a little bit better. Similar with just a couple of modern updates, but build quality wise, Shit snacks. Zyler, I'm going to fucking kill you. I don't care if you want to go to Benihana's, you're going to go. I don't care if you want to go, period. You can hang out with Zoe some other time period. Your grandma's only here till Saturday, period. We are going to go to Benihana's tomorrow and then to the Cheesecake Factory as a family. So suck it up, period. Uh, hormonal teenagers. You can just learn to keep it in his pants. Although Zoe is uh, half black, so that would give me triracial grandbabies, which would be like winning the liberal lottery.